Hello again, college football fans. Coming at you a couple days before uh, the SEC appearance in bowl games begin. I wanted to address something that I heard earlier in an interview. I heard Aaron Murray, quarter, uh, the former quarterback for Georgia, uh, uh, his senior year was 2012, and obviously I remember him from that legendary Georgia-Alabama SEC championship game before the uh, Notre Dame national championship game that we had back, back then in 2012 and then in January of 2013. But uh, he was he was uh, doing an interview on another YouTube uh, channel that I was taking a look at, and he said something, and I, I it's kind of unfair for me to blame Aaron Murray for this because I've heard this my whole life. I've heard talking heads on TV say this before. And now that I've gotten older and I have had some time to think about what is being said, it's one of the dumbest things that you ever hear come out of a college football analyst's mouth. And it comes out all the time. And what it is, is he was, of course, referring to Georgia's offense and their struggle in the SEC championship. And he said the thing that makes absolutely no sense. And what it was is, Georgia's offense is not built to come from behind. Now, what does that mean? What the hell is that supposed to even friggin' mean? Who is designing offenses to come from behind as if that's a strategy? I mean, as if Alabama said, hey, here's our strategy in the SEC championship game. We're going to spot Georgia 10 points. Because that's what our offense is designed to do, is to come back from a game. Nobody's designing anything for comebacks in college football. The idea is to get the lead and keep it and win the football game. I mean, my, my God in heaven, uh, we've got to stop saying this as analysts. I've got to stop hearing this or my head is going to explode. And just the whole attitude around Georgia's loss for Alabama, I keep hearing all these cliches. And, and I've been saying it all year, and it's been a major theme of the season for me. Defense no longer wins championships. The whole running game, uh, you know, game-managing quarterback that doesn't make mistakes. If you're going to win a national championship in today's college football, you have to have an elite quarterback. It's just the way – it's just part of the formula. I mean, look, we've got – you know, this year remains to be seen, but uh, I think everybody sees where this is headed. But last year, Mac Jones. Year before that, Joe Burrow. Year before that, Trevor Lawrence. Year before that, Tua Tungavaloa. The last time that there wasn't a first-round type superstar quarterback to win a national championship game was Jacob Coker for Alabama in 2015. Now, granted, it was a different world back then. That was, uh, I think, before the 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 rules changes and uh, w uh, with the offensive linemen going downfield and all that kind of stuff. And I think a few more targeting and like quarterback uh, uh, roughing the quarterback things have been added since then so it's even tougher but I mean everybody keeps talking like we're like we're living 10 or 15 years in the past um, I, I heard you know not to single out former Georgia quarterbacks McElroy I just heard uh, on the fine bomb show say um, that uh, if if you're saying that Stetson Bennett is the reason that Georgia lost, then you were, you watched a different game than I did. Well, I mean, I'm sure that some Georgia fans are saying that Stetson Bennett is the reason that they lost. I never said that. I said Stetson Bennett played as good as he could have played. And he's not the and and not having a dynamic quarterback is not the reason they lost that game. The reason they lost that game is because their defense could not stop Bryce Young. But see how that logic is set up there. The Stetson had, not having a great quarterback is not the reason they lost the game, but it's the reason they didn't have a chance to win the game once the team with the great quarterback scored all the points. I mean, that's the world that we're living living in right now. You have to be able to score all the points if you're going to win high-level championships. And I, I know that I sound like a broken record saying that. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that. The defense no longer wins championships about a million times on this channel, and I've only been doing it for three months. So... I know that a lot of people are already getting tired of me hearing, hearing me say that, but we have to change our thinking, you know. All, this stuff is, is, all these old cliches, they just do not apply anymore to college football. It's a new world, and we have to start talking like it. And this whole idea that the, uh, what offense is designed to come from behind? That's ridiculous. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. No strategy is to ever be behind. Now, yes, you want to be able to handle adversity and handle being behind if it happens, 
but nothing is built for that. Good Lord in heaven, let's let's use our brains a little bit and let's start speaking with a more accuracy and more precision when we're talking about these things. It's 2021, act like it.